We've reached the final out. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Post Game Show is brought to you by the BYU Store, official outfitter of BYU fans everywhere. Also by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also by Zion's Bank. For banking that helps you game plan for life, Zion's Bank is for you. Let's rejoin Jason Shepard. Certainly not the series that BYU had hoped for after beginning the week with a win over the University of Utah. A three-game sweep here in Omaha, Nebraska. Final score today, 4-1. to one. The Mavericks get the win. They take game one, 2-1. Two to one. Game two, six to five, and game three, four to one. BYU now eleven and twenty on the season. Their road record drops to eight and fourteen. The next game for BYU Tuesday back in Provo against Dixie State. I mentioned it in the broadcast. Uh, that is an earlier first pitch than normal. It will start at four o'clock Mountain Time, and you'll be able to hear that here on the new skin BYU Sports Network, as well as watch it on BYU TV. Waiting for some of the uh, final stats. What I can tell you is, sorry, we had somebody from the, uh, the stats Forum Omaha coming in, and I thought they were handing me the stats. Uh, We're still waiting on those. Uh, Final stats here in terms of Four to one, obviously, your runs. Four runs, four hits, and no errors for Omaha. One run on four hits, two errors for BYU. And and it was those two errors and walks that really cost BYU, especially in that uh, that three-run inning where the 1-1 tie was broken. And unfortunately, that's just something that has kind of plagued this team all year long. Walks and errors. Uh, We've seen that in... A lot of the ball games this year is just not something that uh, BYU was able to overcome today. Let's see if we can find some some stats for you here. Still waiting on the official stat total. Also here from the head coach of the Cougars, Mike Littlewood, as well. Still trying to find a box score. You know what? We'll take a uh, a quick break and see if we can get some of those stats for you. I know they are... Uh, forthcoming we'll take a break we'll come back we'll also hopefully hear from the head coach of the Cougars when we return 4-1 BYU falls to Omaha in Omaha on the new skin BYU Sports Network this is the BYU baseball postgame show now back to Jason Shepard final score from Omaha 4-1 Mavericks get the three-game sweep of the BYU Cougars. And joining me in the press box, associate head coach Trent Pratt. And, Coach, I know the week started off on the right foot with the win over Utah, and and this was kind of looked at as a week to maybe get things right, and things just did not work out here in Omaha. Yeah, it was a tough weekend for us. Um, Just, you know, it comes down to kind of being the story of the year. We've got to, you know, somehow get make a big pitch, um, get a big hit, uh, make a big play, and – and that's what baseball is. And we didn't do those three things very well this weekend. Uh, we had chances yesterday and a couple of chances today and just can't seem to, you know, kind of like push through. And on the other side of things, walks, errors, some things that have kind of plagued this team throughout the year kind of bit you again today. Yeah, it's those little things. We, we walk a couple guys, they get a couple, you know, they get a couple hits. Um, what their guy didn't do is their guy didn't walk people. And – we got guys on base, and we just didn't get a big hit. We hit some balls good today. Wind's blowing in, knocks them down. That's just unlucky. That's how baseball is. But we got to find a way to get better. Um, going in, we got Gonzaga next weekend, Dixie first, and then Gonzaga next weekend. And we got to find a way to, to write this and, and get this team on a roll. We keep saying we have a chance to be good. It's about time to show it. Well, and, and one of the things, and I really do believe it's a strength of this team, and I, and I think we've seen that with all of the ups and downs of the season – the team, for the most part, is still going to come out. They're still going to work hard, and, and they're not going to give up. And I know in a situation like this, this is something, as coaches, you guys really rely on this team trying to continue to fight. Yeah, I think they will. We're going to continue to coach them. I mean, we're not by any means packing in. It's a rough weekend. This is a – you know, I mean, get, tip your hats to Omaha. They came in, and they played good. 
I mean, they, they threw strikes. They made plays. Got They got some big hits. Um, but it's it, we feel like we should come in here and be able to, to win a game or two, and we didn't. And so it's something we just we got to get better at, and we're going to keep coaching them, and, and they're going to keep playing hard. They're good kids. They're going to play hard, but we've got to find a way to go over that hump a little bit and, and do one of those little things right to get a win. Coach, appreciate the time. Thanks for coming up. Uh, I know it's tough, especially after a loss, uh, but really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the bus. Thanks. That's good. Thanks, Jeff. There you go. That's associate head coach Trent Pratt. We will take a break. We'll come back and we'll get you some of those final stats before we wrap up the broadcast on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show. Now back to Jason Shepard. Omaha sweeps the BYU Cougars here at Tal Anderson Field. Final score today, 4-1. to one. Let's get you some of those final stats brought to you by the Deseret News. As we mentioned, uh, four runs, four hits, no errors for Omaha. F- one run, four hits, two errors for BYU. The Cougars left six on base. Omaha left ten. BYU... Now gets ready for Dixie State coming up on Tuesday and then back into conference play Thursday, Friday, Saturday against Gonzaga. Uh, The winning pitcher, obviously today's starter, and that is Mark Timmons, went the distance, a complete game victory for Timmons, and uh, he was really efficient. I think he finished the game with just under 120 pitches and uh, did a really nice job, kept the Cougar hitters guessing, and BYU, which led in this ball game early, one nothing, just uh, could never get anything going the rest of the game. So now, obviously, a time for BYU to try and regroup. They'll get the game Tuesday at home, and then head back out, jumping back into conference play, which, as we all know, is what's really important this season. Uh, but this is one uh, that's going to sting a little bit. There's no question about it, as you heard from uh, associate head coach Trent Pratt, who joined us just a few moments ago. All right, that's going to do it from here in Omaha. Coming up uh, on Tuesday, again, 4 o'clock Mountain Time, BYU-Dixie State. We'll have the game for you on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Greg Grubel, Tuckett Slade will have the call. So for head coach Mike Littlewood in pregame, associate head coach Trent Pratt in post game, as well as my broadcast partner, Tuckett Slade, and everybody back in our BYU radio studios. My name is Jason Shepard. Your final from Omaha, 4 to 1, and you heard it all right here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.